Hello everyone, I'm Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. Now as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we will discuss some few basic problems on the topic cyclicity. So without further ado, let's begin. For our first question, we have to find out the unit digit of 13 raised to the power 41. Now I would like you to try to solve this question by yourself and then come back for the solution. So we have to find out the unit digit of 13 raised to the power 41. So basically I have to find out the unit digit of 3 raised to the power 41. This implies that whatever may be the length of the number, we are just concerned with the last digit of that number for finding out its unit digit. So we have to find out the unit digit of 3 raised to the power 41. Now we know that the cyclicity of 3 is 4. So we have to divide 41 by 4 and we get the remainder as 1. So 3 raised to the power 41 will give the same remainder as 3 raised to the power 1, that is 3 itself. So the unit digit of 13 raised to the power 41 is 3. Now moving forward to our second question, we have to find out the unit digit of 12 factorial into 239 raised to the power 57. I would like you to try to solve this question by yourself and then come back for the solution. Now for solving these kinds of questions, what we can do is, we can take the first number as A and the second number as B and we just have to find out the unit digit of this product A into B. So in this question, our A is equal to 12 factorial and B is equal to 239 raised to the power 57. So we have to separately find out the unit digit of 12 factorial and 239 raised to the power 57. Now starting with our first number, 12 factorial, the unit digit of 12 factorial is 0. Now I know this because the unit digit of all the factorials from the number 5 are 0. So the unit digit of 12 factorial is 0. Now since the unit digit of our first number is 0, we don't have to calculate the unit digit of our second number because 0 into something will always give me 0. So the unit digit of 12 factorial into 239 raised to the power 57 is 0. Now moving on to our third and final question, we have to find out the unit digit of 3 to the power 12 into 4 to the power 12 into 5 to the power 12 plus 3 to the power 12. Now this question is one level higher than the previous question and we have to apply the same logic in this question too. We can take 3 to the power 12 as our first number, 4 to the power 12 as our second number and 5 to the power 12 as our third number and last but not the least 3 to the power 12 as the fourth number. Then we will find out the unit digit of the product of these three numbers and add it with the unit digit of d. So first let us calculate the unit digit of 3 to the power 12. Now I know that the cyclicity of 3 is 4 so I will divide 12 by 4 and the remainder is 0. That implies that 3 to the power 12 will give me the same unit digit as 3 to the power 4. And I know that 3 to the power 4 is 81, so the unit digit of 3 to the power 12 is 1. Now moving on to our second number, we have to calculate the unit digit of 4 to the power 12. Now cyclicity of 4 is equal to 2, so I will divide 12 by 2 and the remainder is 0. So the unit digit of 4 to the power 12 is equivalent to the unit digit of 4 square that is equal to 16. So the unit digit of 4 to the power 12 is equal to 6. Now moving to our third number, we have 5 to the power 12. Now unit digit of 5 raised to any power gives the unit digit as 5 itself. So we have got all the three unit digits as 1, 6 and 5 and the product of all these three numbers is equal to 30 and the unit digit of 30 is equal to 0. Now we have separately find out the unit digit of 3 to the power 12 and that is equal to 1. So our final answer is equal to 0 plus 1 that is equal to 1. So the unit digit of the complete expression 3 to the power 12 into 4 to the power 12 into 5 to the power 12 plus 3 to the power 12 is equal to 1. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video and if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon 
as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASEAN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there. And all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video, then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASEAN Academy. Oh.